Oh, good morning everyone and welcome to another vlog and another morning and may I say if I spin you around another magnificent looking sunrise and uh, I'm down here trying some extreme long exposure photography I've been watching a gentleman a photographer by the name of Ewan is Muir, who is uh, a Scotsman, and uh, well, he's from Orkney in the UK, and he's actually living in New Zealand at the moment, or well, has been for a while, I think. Anyway, he's uh, he has some stunning videos and some even more stunning photos, and he does medium format photography, and he does ultra long exposures and I mean long exposures so I'm trying something this morning here and uh, <laughs> the sky as you can see is looking pretty darn nice and that's the view over the top of my camera so the idea is that there's no wind, and it's just an extra, 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 extra long exposure. Using, it's been around again so I can talk to you, using a 10 stop filter from Nissi that I've had in my bag for some time, and I've used occasionally, but haven't done much with. And now I've decided to give it a crack. So, I spin you around, you can watch the sunrise instead of looking at me. And we'll see what the photo turns out like. And I'll explain a little bit more if it's up on the screen and you're looking at it. You can see the colours lightening up a little now. We had one of these the other morning and uh, I came down and took some shots. And I thought, no, that's it. It's gone. And there was a layer of cloud on the horizon and a little gap. Similar to this one up here, but a lot bigger. And uh, the colour came and went and so did I. And then the colour exploded again. What a rookie mistake. Leaving before the show was over. Anyway, I'm not going to today. I'm going to leave it and see what happens. Look at the sky behind me. Oh my goodness me, look at that, <gasps> wow, makes you want to have another camera and duck over there and compose something and grab that as well. So the base settings for this shot were f11, ISO 100 and 8 seconds. And then when I put the Nissi filter on, it was still F11 ISO 100. But the timer was 2 hours and 16 minutes to let the light through the filter. And that's And that's going to be way too long. So I'm going to shorten that myself. And 
I'm about three minutes away from sunrise coming up, in four minutes maybe. So I might shorten it down and just have a look. Because this is a little bit of experimentation, I'm not quite sure what's going on as the birds fly over. Wow. And some more. And I'll put the final settings up on the screen with the final shot. This is all very new, but if you watch Ewan's videos, and I'll put a link up in uh, the, the description of this video and a card at the top of the screen somewhere where you can click on and go and have a look. I cannot recommend his videos enough. He has a beautiful melodic voice, a beautiful calmness about the way he does his videos. And it's just stunning. I've been binge watching his videos and I've got to say, I'm a huge fan. Okay, well, <laughs> that, uh, the sunrise is just about gone now. There's still a little bit of colour there. And I'm just going to wait and see what happens with it. But in the meantime, I'm just going to say thanks very much for watching. And if you do like the content of the video, then please give us a thumbs up. Highly appreciate those. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, maybe you'd consider doing so. And if you do subscribe, then don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I do the next video. And while I wait to see what the sun's going to do with that little bit of cloud, I'll give you a sneak peek on the back of my camera screen to the shot that I've just taken. So, until next time, bye for now.